Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Scorpio. So if you're a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, not known, or if you have a stellium in Scorpio, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Rose can get reversed, so take how it resonates. Queen of Cups in reverse. Four of Wands. We're dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Knight of Pentacles. Whatever illusions, whatever confusion this person created, this connection, this relationship created, you are letting go of all of that. It's also very possible this was this person did lie to you. They had secrets or they, they were just hiding things from you. And with the moon in reverse, like everything is out in the light and you know everything about this person. All secrets, everything you know about this person. And with the queen of cups in reverse, what I'm getting here is it's almost like... The moment you figured out who this person is, you saw this person for who they are or whatever they were, the lies and secrets, you found everything out. It's almost like you felt like you fell in love with the wrong person. You felt like you were giving to the wrong person. It's also very possible with the Queen of Cups in reverse, you almost feel very drained whenever you think of this person, whenever you think of this connection or this relationship itself really, really drained you. Four of uh, Wands, there. Either you both, like you both were, it's the 11-11 card, right? So it's very possible you were manifesting something stable with this person. And you were very, very loyal to the cause here. You were very, very, very loyal to this relationship because you really wanted to manifest. And manifestation doesn't just mean not putting in the effort and just um, expecting things to fall out of uh, thin air. No. So you were putting in the effort, you were very loyal, you were very goal oriented, you were almost very determined, that strong, stubborn Scorpio energy of being determined to make this work, being, you know, it's almost like you were in this energy of there is going to be challenges here, we are going to have challenges there, this relationship might have challenges, there might be hurdles, there might be some issues here, but we can make this work out. It's a very determined energy because again, on we have the chariot here. You could be dealing with a cancer, but on the chariot, we have the emperor sitting and the chariot is divinely guided, right? It's very like the chariot, the emperor. Emperor, emperor is a very confident energy. The emperor knows. Again, as I said, the emperor, we bought about this deck, we have the emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries here, but this is that confident energy. This is Mars, right? Emperor is Mars energy. And Scorpio is ruled by Mars as well. So yes, that very fighter-like, warrior-like energy of, I know we can manifest this. I know we can make this work here. But this person seriously, seriously uh, disappointed you, drained you. This person also could have made you feel like you were very weak. You know, like this person made you feel like you were very weak. Or you just felt confused with this person and you didn't know like what is happening here. Again, if someone is lying to you, someone is hiding things from you, of course you will feel like you don't know the entire picture. You can't see the entire picture here. You might have a little bit of anger, a little bit of spitefulness or still a little bit of anger. Some, uh, some, some negative emotions when it comes to this person here. You know, and with the Queen of Cups in reverse, this very well could have been a codependent connection. 
you forgot you forgot to take care of yourself you were so determined to make this connection work you were so uh, loyal to the cause that you were not even taking care of yourself you were probably putting yourself on the back burner putting putting your needs and uh, uh, desires in the back burner and just focusing on this making this connection work here you could have also been a bit, little bit of uh, you know sacrificing your thing sacrificing yourself for this connection because this is it I really want to make this work out. The determination made you sacrifice and put your needs in the back burner. It's just that energy I'm getting here. Okay. Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords, Eight, Eight, Eight Thousand. You are Scorpio, Eight Thousand. Ooh, look at that. Bottom of the deck is Five of Swords here. It's almost this Eight. This is what the vibe that is. The Eight of Swords is giving me that vibe of someone who got caught in their own web of lies. You know, as I said, this person could have had secrets. They were lying to you, and they just got caught. Your mental health might have been really affected by this connection or however this person was treating you. Because look at that. Queen of Cups and Queen of Swords is a complete mismatch of energy. Queen of Cups is nurturing, caring, giving, uh, very emotional. Whereas the Queen of Swords is not emotional at all. The Queen of Swords is more like head over heart. Right. So this person could have whatever, however they were doing or however they were acting. It really was affecting your mental health here. You could have felt very depressed as well. But the funny part is right now, this person feels that same way with that Eight of Swords here. Although we don't have the Nine of Swords here, but that Eight of Swords is giving me the same vibe of now that you saw this person for who they truly are, now that you are not, you know, you are just in this like very withdrawn kind of energy because the Queen of Cups in reverse is a very withdrawn energy. Right. Now that you are withdrawing from this connection here, this person almost like is feeling that same sort of uh, anguish. You know? This person could have blocked you. It's almost like you found out things about this person and this person blocked you it's also very possible initially when you were with this connect like you fell for this person uh, or you you got into this connection or relationship you could have missed cert certain red flags and it was simply because you were not listening to your intuition even if your intuition was telling you things you could have missed certain things because again you were too invested you really really wanted to make this connection work out so of course you missed some red flags here It's very possible as soon as you found things about this person, this person could have run away or blocked you because uh, they were like, yeah, they, they knew that you have found out everything about them. Yeah, five of swords is, five of swords is the energy of someone winning, but using all the wrong methods, all the wrong means they have won. Yeah, this person is right now in this energy of not wanting to take any risks here, not wanting to come towards you almost, you know, because this person is very well aware that, again, that energy of trying to run away, trying to run away. Someone is trying to run away here and it's easier to run away, right? Yeah, you were you were very over enthusiastic about this connection. You were very happy here, almost with that four of <clears throat> with that four 
four of wands here but this person with the queen of swords uh, they could have very well worn a mask here this person might have also you know like not they were not open they were not emotional at all could have been a lot of passion here with the eight of wands eight of wands the very passionate energy we have the king and the queen of cups so you definitely saw this person as a match your match because you were you came out as the queen of cups so king of cups here but yeah there could have been a lot of passion in this uh, connection here things could have moved pretty fast and that is why that is what happens when you generally are moving pretty fast or jumping to the next jumping steps here to be with a person uh then yeah you it's it's pretty normal to miss those red flags here and that is what happened you were very passionate to uh with them and you wanted to move forward you wanted to go on move ahead with this person be with them but it's sort of like you put your mental health through shit here for to be with this person. It's almost like, again, that energy of sacrificing yourself, sacrificing. You could have also lowered your standards for this person, for some of you. You know? Okay, let's see some more. The moon in reverse and the devil. This, is a, this was a very codependent connection. You were very addicted to each other for some of you. You were very addicted to each other. This was a very need-based connection. Especially from this person's side, it was a very need-based connection. And you were just simply giving into that need for the, that this person. Like this person wanted you, uh, they needed you and you would immediately just give to them without even thinking of yourself without even thinking whether you are draining yourself whether you are taking care of yourself yeah ten of cups you saw this with this person the hierophant and the ten of cups this is happy family this is marriage this is long-term commitment this is what you saw with this person for some of you were actually planning to get married or you um you were married something like that you know engaged You might have really thought that things are going pretty well between the both of you. It took you a while to understand that you were feeling very drained. You were not at your best. You were feeling very exhausted. You were, you were overextending yourself for this person, for this connection. of cups in reverse there could have been people around this connection that really was very you know what i'm getting here is very possible people around you or people around this connection sort of were not very um happy or enthusiastic about you both being together there could have been third party in uh, interference here and third party doesn't necessarily have to be one particular person it could just be another energy that interfered and this energy could very well be people around you friends or family or something like that interfered in this connection another person interfered in this connection because of which like someone who was not happy about this connection someone who was not happy with both of you uh, one particular person could be a group of people that interfered in this connection, you know, sort of go gossiping or that sort of an energy.
yeah seven of pentacles and the queen of cups in reverse you definitely thought long term with this person you knew you you had a strong desire to be with this person for the long term it was not a fl fling or it was not a temporary something for you you were very serious about this person almost way too serious and now in hindsight you might be wondering like whether you were the only one who was putting in effort in in this connection was i the only one doing this was he was the other person even giving to me or giving to this connection or was it just all me and no wonder when you are in in a situation where you are over giving you will feel drained after a while so it's very possible like you had some you know you had some plans or you had something and those got cancelled that's sort of an energy some cancellation happened here like there were some plans some dreams it's very possible you had some plans with this person you know like you had some dreams with this person some celebration and those got cancelled again because this was due to a third person third party interference there was definitely people just interfering in this connection because of which it was uh, it was more difficult to make sense of what is happening here you could have found out about another person as well here queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck Yeah, even though this connection could have gone very toxic, you were still uh, uh, trying to hold on and make this work here. It could have been some money issues also in this connection, but yeah, this more than money issue. This feels like could be for some of you that is very possible here, but yeah, this it's more like this was a, became a very toxic uh, connection, a toxic situation, and you were too fixated on making this work out. really really wanting to make this work out you was it's almost like you were more obsessed with making this work out than anything sort of proving people wrong or something like that it's it's right like right now you're definitely holding back from this person here it's almost like you you are preserving your energy you are very reserved right now so some of you could be regretting even giving to this person the way you did like over giving to this person but yeah they definitely i'm getting that energy of some outside energy some thought energy interfering here things could have gone out of control the magician could be dealing with a gemini or a virgo queen of wands in reverse i'm not going to take two yeah 
ये तो टेन ऑफ वॉन्ट्स एंड सेवन ऑफ सोट्स बॉटम ऑफ द डेक वी हैव हॉर्मेट इन रिवर्स वर्गो एनर्जी This person is trying to be stuck. This is someone who is, is very like they are stuck to their comfort zone. They they are right now. It's almost like this energy of this person is avoiding taking any risks here. It's they they could very well this person also very well could be lying to themselves in a way you know like cheating themselves lying to themselves it's that just that this person is very scared here with a queen of wands in reverse again there's this energy of someone feeling very low in confidence and someone who's questioning themselves. This is also someone who gets easily influenced, you know, very easily influenced. This person gets. And that could be one of the reasons why this third energy or third party interference was possible here because this person easily got influenced. But yeah, Queen of Wands is in reverse is someone who lacks courage. Eight of Wands and the Magician is someone who is very, like they, they were very, very determined to manifest you in their life. Very determined to manifest you in their life. To be with you. This person was very determined. But then again, it came from a place of like they, them being very obsessed with you or this, you know, again, uh, you, you were too gullible to this person. They saw you as someone who has a lot of emotions and therefore it would be easy to manipulate you, easy to play games with you, easy to play um, tricks with you. And therefore this person was really, really wanting you. They're really wanting to manifest a future with you. Because they thought that it will be just easy for them to be whatever, whoever they are and do whatever they do. And to mention with the seven of pentacles and six of wands, six of, that is that again energy of someone who's being very egotistical, someone who's definitely wants attention and seeking attention. And you were just there giving them that attention. You were showering them with attention. You were, you, you, uh, ended up becoming too easy for this person. Too easy for them to manipulate. Too easy for them to uh, be with. Let's clarify some things here. The helmet came out in reverse again. This person is feeling that urgency to do something here. To pursue you to do something here to break this silence or whatever there is between the both of you this this very well could be a silence between the both of you uh, this person is feeling that urge to do that feeling that desire to do that but then they have they don't have that confidence they don't have that confidence to approach you for some of you this person also sees you as someone who's not looking for any sort of reunion you are not interested in that you are happy in your own world. You are happy all by yourself. And uh, 
you know, you, 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 you want to be independent right now. You don't want them. You don't care about them. This person might have, um, you know, like you might have also come off as someone who was being very harsh with them. The last time you had a conversation, the last time you talked, you came off as someone who was very harsh with them. And this person is, again, a bit of scared because of your harshness here. Because you are Scorpio, you do know how to sting, right? So this person is afraid of that. If you can hear the crows, that's a confirmation. Yeah, as I said, you might have been harsh with this person. You already have the Queen of Swords in this person's energy. And this, it's almost this energy of this person never expected you to say those things. They, they neither they expected you to figure out of the, about this person. This person might have come across as someone to you like in front of you. This person pretended to be someone who was very confident or in, in the eyes of the world. This person tries to come off as someone who's very confident, someone who is uh, independent, someone who gets attention, someone who's good looking and gets attention, someone who is doing well in life. But in reality, we have the six of wands in reverse. This is someone who uh, is has low self-esteem. Uh, functions from their ego loves attention from multiple people it's very possible this person just loves attention from multiple people and always wants someone or the else to keep giving them attention more than one person needs to give them attention and you figured it out with the high priestess as i already said like you figured things out about this person whatever secrets or whatever lies this person was saying whatever they were keeping from you you figured everything out here with the high priestess because high priestess is again she knows she just knows and yeah, sure, whatever you figured out about this person really, really broke you. But at the same time, it broke this person as well here. It hurt them as well here. And look at that. As I was just saying, you could have missed some red flags. And I'm just, uh, I'm my eyes is very fixated on this. I don't know what this is. I guess this is a red cloak here. That, or is it blood? I don't know. I feel like this is a red cloak. So it's giving me the vibe of this being the red flag that you missed. So yeah, it really hurt you that you missed the red flags about this person. But then this person is affected as well because you found out this person. Yeah, there was this huge drama, this huge argument that happened between the both of you. And you saw this person for who they truly are or you just confronted this person with the truth that you find, found out about them. And this was someone who was not going to take accountability. So that is why they ran away and that the same fear is still working. You might have really said some things to this person that, you know, hurt their respect here. It's almost like they, they can't come and uh, come towards you and look into your eyes. They can't look into your eyes anymore. They definitely you definitely found things about this person that was shameful to say the least. And this person is like, that is the reason why the queen of wands in reverse. They don't have the courage because they know they can't face you right now. They don't have the courage to face you. Not to mention the high priestess can definitely be a very intimidating energy, right? Because she knows, again, she knows. She sees things clearly. No matter how much of an illusion is created in front of her, she can still see through everything. And again, the high priestess doesn't even need to say anything. She has the silent power. dealing with the Sagittarius here this person sees you as someone again I'm getting that energy of someone like they see you as like you are being very silent uh, and you are being very patient and you are you seem very cool composed and calm to this person even though you might be hurt, they might have abandoned, they have abandoned you and you are still feeling that pain. You are still feeling that abandoned, yet you are coming off as someone who's very cool, calm, composed, collected. You're fine. That's how this person sees you. Not to mention the temperance here, this is again a very protective energy. Because this is, 
Archangel, right? So yeah, you are divinely protected here. The Archangel Michael. Right, so yeah, yeah, I mean, and not to mention we have the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. You are well guarded. That's the word I got. You're well guarded. And this person might also feel with that seven of swords, they don't know any more tricks that they, that can penetrate the protection of the high priestess and the temperance. This is literally someone being in a safe cocoon here. You are being in, in the safe cocoon and they don't know any sort of tricks that they, that can penetrate that. Yeah, this person is definitely someone who pretends to be someone they're not in front of uh, friends, family, uh, you. This is someone who's a very cunning person. All right. I was just looking at the true intentions. As I just said, this person feels like they don't have any um, tricks and ideas to penetrate your protection. Five of Swords. This is the true intention. This is someone who's really feeling annoyed that you are ignoring them. This is someone who's really feeling annoyed that you are ignoring them. And again, you really could have said some things to this person that really hurt their ego and respect and everything and shattered that mask they were wearing. And this is a huge blow for this person. So there is the spiteful energy from this person. But again, even if this is the true intention, this person can't do anything really here. It's almost like with the strength here, this is what I'm getting. See, again, strength is a fixed sign, right? Leo energy. You could be dealing with Leo. But this is, strength is like strength of character. Pride and not like egotistical pride or a very negative sense of pride. No, this is taking pride in oneself. This person almost wants to, they see you as this energy of high priestess, temperance, strength. This is the energy, they vibe the energy. This is how they see you. And this person is so tempted to break that. So, so tempted to somehow make you make a mistake. Because this person feels like this is what the, I'm, I'm picking up that energy of this person. And this person is literally seeing you as someone who's acting all high and mighty. I'm not saying you, you, that's how what you are doing or feeling. This person sees you as someone who's acting all high and mighty right now. And they just want to come in and break that. This is a very manipulative energy. Taurus or Libra energy, that is the Divine Feminine energy. We have two Divine Feminine cards here, the High Priestess and the Empress. Yeah, this person sees you on the throne, On sorry, on your throne. Look at that, the way I even place the card. This, this guy literally here is looking at her. The temptation to just come in and rock that throne of yours with their words, with their games. It's almost like this person feels like, like you have become the forbidden fruit or, you know, because you cannot be manipulated anymore. The temptation to do that to you is much more dominant than this person. Be 
dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius. There's that devil again. Devil repeated twice. You could be dealing with a Capricorn here. Yeah, this person is like wondering. Maybe I should offer a cup. Try to make, make amends. Try to make this work. Try to bring an offer and see if it works. But at the same time, I don't have the confidence. But maybe I should try. Or maybe I should just find someone else. But then they can't find that someone else. They, they, they are not happy with finding someone else because they are hooked to your energy here with the devil. You might still feel this energy of this person from time to time, see dreams about this person. And that is this person trying to send their energy towards you. So even if this person comes towards you, it's it's going to be a very like. Even come on, we did have the devil, right? Knight of Cups and the devil. This is someone who will love bomb. And that is because they don't have the courage. This person doesn't have the courage. You have shattered that. Well, that's your reading, um, Scorpio. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.